Hi, welcome back to Sensuality. Today we're going to take a look at another material. That material is ISO A Super. ISO A Super is a synthetic molecule by IFF. It is a base note. If you are looking to buy some materials and you want to make perfume with a mixture of naturals and synthetics, then ISO A Super is a must. Combined with materials such as hedione and galaxolide, it will form a strong foundation for all of your perfumes. Similar materials include timber, silk, cephalus and sylvamba. Timber, silk and cephalus are more woody, whereas sylvamba focuses more on the ambery side of things. Sylvamba is more like ISO A Super, however ISO A Super is definitely more cedar like ISO A Super has a clean unisex scent likened to the smell of fresh sun-kissed skin. Using it will help your perfume smell more like the commercial perfumes you buy. If we take a look at Fragrantica, Fragrantica describes Iso A Super as being woody floral ambergris and they say uh, Iso A Super is smooth woody amber with unique aspects giving a velvet-like sensation used to impart fullness and subtle strength to fragrances. Superb floralizer found in the majority of newer fine fragrances and also useful in soaps. Richer in the desirable gamma isomer than isoclamone. There are some pheromone-like rumors that go along with ISO A Super. Again, on Fragrantica, we can read a little bit about that. Allegedly, ISO A Super possesses aphrodisiac qualities because of its pheromone-like profile, making the wearer extremely attractive to the opposite sex, enhancing the body's unique scent. The rumor had arisen following the launch and subsequent marketing of the unisex fragrance Molecule 1 by limited distribution line Eccentric Molecules. The composition created a mini cult supposedly because the focal material smells like the natural aura of a person rather than a perfume, a pheromone-like aura, thus acting as a powerful attractant enhancing the mystery. Some people report being anosmic to the scent, while others notice it ebbing and flowing at various moments. Chemists are not yet convinced of the pheromone allegation. Nevertheless, no biology studies have been conducted as of yet to either prove or disprove the claims. Molecule 1 remains among the best-selling fragrances of niche fragrance boutique Lucky Scent in Los Angeles, California, catering to the perfume enthusiasts. Now I have made my own version of Molecule 1 at home and I can vouch for the ebbing and flowing uh, behavior. It definitely ebbs and flows throughout the day. You can't always smell it. Sometimes other people can. And you know, every now and then you definitely get a big whiff of that uh, cedar like material. And it is a very, very pleasant smell. I've never smelled commercial Molecule 1 at all. So I can't vouch for how similar it is, but supposedly it is just based on ISO A Super. But I do believe the ISO A Super that is used uh, in the production of Molecule 1 is a synthesized version that is not available to the public. That's it for this video. If you would like to stick around for a few moments more, I will put some more helpful and interesting information about ISO A Super up on the screen and you can read until your heart is content. I'll see you in the next video and I will be talking about Hedione. Until then, have a good day.